My name is Milan Magar, and this right here is Raghu Acharya. Yeah. Um, thank you for having us here and then doing this interview with us. Absolutely. So can you please tell us a bit of yourself? Hey, um, I am one of the witness refugees that came into the United States in 2011. Now it's 2023. At least we are able to have a house to live and a small business to carry on with the family. I wanted to ask you, why did you open gas station? So um, I have been in the business for several years in the past. I used to work for Costco as a manager. Um, we started working for Verizon as a consultant. Again, left the job and opened my own store. That motivated because I saw several people with a medium income, low income were helped. And I was trying to assist them as much as I can as an immigrant because I had really hard time when I started, but now I can help the community back. Why did you pick these locations? Winiski is one of the most diverse community living um, city in, in Vermont, I can say. Being here next to the school, helping school kids and being in the middle of the city, helping all around, um, you know, community member and low-income people. Whenever any community, any organization, any institute, if they want to help the community, immigrant community, first and foremost thing is they need to have a people with the same ability to speak the language that they can serve. So multilingual employee in the business is number one asset. And next up, we have another trust, trusted voice in the, our Nepali community. Please welcome Kamal. Hello, Kamal. What are some facts that you would like to tell them or the larger Vermont community about the Nepali tradition? Is it the tradition itself? Is it the food? What would you want? Some facts. Okay, uh, one of the important facts that I would like to tell everyone is just to clear up the misconception about Nepal with you know, refugee communities in general. Uh, in the national media, you know, it's often uh, regarded refugee population as a burden to the country. But in contrary, in reality, that's not the case. A lot of population coming from uh, Nepalese refugees came. They're highly educated entrepreneur people who didn't have that opportunity living in the camp. So coming to United States, they were able to flourish very fast, very easily because they got that opportunity here. And a lot of people have created jobs. People in Vermont have uh, contributed to the economic vitality of this place. There are a handful of uh, landlords that I know who immigrated here uh, without any money just 10, 15 years ago. But now they have purchased multiple properties and they're you know, renting it out, uh, making it affordable being the solution, uh, part of the solution for housing issues in this state. So uh, my message to the larger community in Vermont is we got to continue that train. 